Hi, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today we're doing something a little odd. I want to mash up the generative art makers that I've made and the Deep Dream Generator style transfer, which I will explain. I'll try to explain these as quickly as possible, but I'm going to take these two worlds, mash them together, and see what happens. So this is one of my generative art tools. I can hit new and you can see I'm getting all new stuff. Here's another one, all new things. And I can change some variables to get some other stuff like this. And I have this one, which is a morphing mandala. I can hit new, we get another one. And then here's another one. And then I can save it as a JPEG for later. The Deep Dream Generator is a website where it's using a neural network and machine learning. Uh, it takes a subject and it takes a style and it combines them into a new image. So it's called style transfer, taking this style, transferring it onto this image. Here are some of the images that I've created using this method. So let's go. We're going to generate. So I'm going to choose a subject first. Let's choose this as my subject. And then I have to choose a style. Now I can choose one of these as my style. This would probably be interesting as a style. Then we'll do settings. And the settings I'm going to use for all of these are this, this, and this. And then I'm sometimes going to preserve the colors and sometimes not going to preserve the colors. For this one, let's not preserve the colors and just see what happens. And the processing takes a minute or two, but I'll cut all that out. So here we go. That's not too bad. Pretty interesting. So I started with this. This was my style and ended with this. That worked pretty well. Let's um, try some more. I'm starting with this, choosing this as my style. And let's see what we get. And here we go. That looks pretty nice. I like it. Success. Starting with this piece of mine, we'll combine it with this. And here's the result. Hmm, I think I like my original better, but that's okay. Starting with this piece of mine, we'll combine it with this Van Gogh. Oh, that is very nice. That is kind of like satin pajamas or something. Interesting how it gave it a satiny feel. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty good. Starting with this generative art, we'll use this style again. Here's the result. It's, um, it's interesting. I don't think I would want to put that on my wall, but interesting. Starting with this generative art, we'll combine it with this. And I should say that some of these images I'm getting off the internet, but they're all available for commercial use. So again, this with this, and we get this, which is pretty cool looking. I like it, although, it's really pretty close to this. It's preserving the shape of the streaks from my art, but really it's, it's a lot of this style. We'll start with this piece of mine, combine it with this, and we get this, which is pretty interesting. I like it. We'll start with this piece of mine, combine it with this piece, which is pretty spectacular, and here's the result. Very nice, I like it. It's kind of a satiny look again, it's interesting how it's turning my stuff into satin looking things. Let's try going in the opposite direction. We'll start with a subject that is normal and we'll use my generative art as a style this time. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. It's um, pretty much kept this, made it, kind of made it a little bit more of a watercolor, I guess, but not a great outcome. Let's take this image I got off the internet. We'll combine it with this piece of mine. All right, that's not so bad. Um, don't really like the streak right above his eyes, but uh, I like the wispiness of his beard. Let me see the original. Yeah, it's kind of softened everything up a lot. Next, we're gonna take this image of these cows, combine it with this. Let's see what we get. Oh, uh, that's not so good. No. That's a fail, I think. We're gonna take this guy again. Let's try combining with this piece of mine, see what we get. Oh, jeez. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. 
That's... Oh, God. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> okay, that, that's a fail. Now I'm going to try doing two images of my own. So this will be the subject. This will be the style. And here is the result. That's interesting. Yeah, I think it combined them pretty well, which is not surprising, considering that they were kind of similar in style to start with. Let's try another one like that. Uh, we'll do this one, combine it with this one, see what we get. And here's our result. Not too bad, not great. Let's do another one. This is one of my pieces. This is another piece of mine. And we get this, which is pretty close to this, except it's a lot softer. It's got kind of the pastel softness of this one. So yeah, that came out pretty nice. I like it. Let's combine this piece of mine with this piece of mine. Ooh, no, that's, that's a fail. We'll combine this piece of mine with this piece of mine. Ooh, that's interesting. I like it. It's sort of like leaves with images of leaves printed on them or something. I don't know. Let's try this piece of mine with this piece. I haven't had a lot of luck with this piece, but let's try again. Nope, still not having any luck with this piece. I'll try this piece of mine with this piece of mine. Okay, that's not too bad. It's, it, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. We'll try this piece with this piece. I really like this piece. And the result, not too bad. Not the best one, but uh, it's kind of interesting. We'll try this piece with my many mandalas piece. Um, that's kind of interesting, but it's also a little weird. It's a, it's a lot weird. <laughs> we'll try this piece. Let's try another regular picture this time. Okay, that's pretty interesting. It's kind of a satin look, but also kind of scaly at the same time. I like it. Now I'll do a seashell for a subject. This for the style. Eh, not so good. Next, seashell. And I know, trying again. I just want this to succeed. I want this to do something. No. What? <laughs> Where's the seashell? Seashell, again? Try with this one. This has got some spiraling going on, so maybe better luck this time. That's pretty interesting. It's kind of a cartoony look, but I like it. We'll try the sunflowers again. Combine it with this. It's got similar colors. Uh, no. Not good. Let's do this piece of mine. This piece from the website. That is cool. I like it. Really neat. Okay, last time I'm going to do this. This is the subject this time. Here's my style. Okay. It's kind of interesting. This looks like a little dude up here. I don't know. We'll do my many mandalas. This is a stained glass composite that I created from a number of images I got off the internet. Ooh, that is interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow, that's a success. Look at that. Let's try another one with the many mandalas. This will be my style this time. Eh, not so good. Let's try it again. Subject, style, eh. I like this one up here, but no, not really. Subject, style from the internet, not mine. Eh, no, not so good. Subject is mine, image from the internet. That's pretty interesting. I like it. Yeah, that turned out pretty well. Subject of mine, image from the internet. That's pretty spectacular. And the result, kind of like that. Let me go back to this. It's kind of made everything into pastels. Not too bad. Let's do another many mandala combined with the stained glass. See if we get another nice one. Oh yes. All right, many mandalas plus stained glass is a winner. I'm gonna start wrapping this up, but first I'm gonna try one more thing with the Deep Dream Generator. Besides style transfer, there's also Deep Dream. 
So I'm going to choose one of my many mandalas and I'll just use whatever the default is and we'll hit generate. There's no style to choose. Sometimes it finds eyeballs and faces in stuff, which it might do because these are mandala shapes. So this might be really weird. Yep, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Look at these faces. There's eyeballs everywhere staring at me. <laughs> some of these were definitely fails, but some of these, like, I could not have created this in any other way besides what I did. So I would say this is a win. So we're going to wrap it up now. There will be links to this website and to my videos and my code in the video description. Let me know in the comments if one of these you thought was really cool. I could, if you want, post one of these to my Discord, maybe? If you like this video, you can give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye now. Steve's Makerspace.